everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Kat Jarvis, and today I'm going to talk about uh, crock pot safety. Now, you might have an old crock pot sitting around and wondering if it's still heating up and doing what it's supposed to. Now, crock pots are unique in the fact that their temperature gets just high enough to keep your food safe, but yet it's low enough that you don't have to come and stir it all the time. So how do you know if your crock pot is staying within the right temperature? And to do that, you can test it. And it's really simple to test. First thing you need to do is check your cord and make sure it's still in good condition. Check, make sure the connection in the back is still good, not frayed or loose. Check the inside of your container, make sure there's no cracks or chips in your bow, and make sure that the inside is not burnt. Okay, put it together, take two quarts of water, and this should be tipping water, not cold and not hot. Add the two quarts of water to the crock pot. the lid on and plug it in and set it on low then forget it for two hours. We'll come back in two hours and we'll test the water temperature and see if it's at the right temperature or not. Okay, it's been two hours now, so what we're going to do is take an instant read thermometer. And quickly, you have to read fairly quickly, because once you take this lid off, the temperature of the liquid inside is going to drop quickly. So what we're going to do is take this and put it in and leave it, find out what the temperature is. It should be 165 at the minimum. Anything lower than that then your crock pot is not going to keep the food as hot as it should. And at that time, you should probably toss it and get a new one. Alright, now we wait another six hours and test it again. It should be 185 at that point, and if not, you need to get rid of it. So I I was hoping to use this tomorrow, but mine only read 163, so that's not a good test. No, it didn't turn out good, so I'll probably have to get a new crock pot. Okay, it's been two hours. I've tested this. Mine shows 160. It's supposed to be 165. So anything below 160 tells me that this crock pot is not working correctly. It's not keeping the food, not heating the food fast enough to get it out of the danger zone, which is between 40 degrees and 140. So it should have read 165 to have kept this crock pot. So this one. It's almost 20, I know it's at least 20, possibly 25 years old, so I'm not surprised that it didn't test out. And that's the reason I got the new one. And that has um, been cooking for an hour, so another hour I'll lift the lid and check the soup and make sure it's working correctly. So we'll still let this go, one go for the, another eight, uh, six hours to test it, see if it ever did get up to 185, which is what it's supposed to be at after eight hours. But it did not pass the uh, two hour test. Okay, working on week two, I decided to clean out the kitchen drawers. And I cleaned up all the uh, ceram wraps and the um, aluminum foils and the Ziploc bags and put them in a drawer. Went through and cleaned out all the tiles and 
got rid of the ones that had bad stains on them. Went through the cutaway drawer and cleaned it out. Nice. Okay, these are the silverware drawer, the uh, baking uh, container, baking goods, the pans and utensils, and the bottom one is more towels and stuff that you don't use very often in the food storage containers. Also, I plan on, haven't got this one done yet, but I'm cleaning out underneath the sink. We cleaned this out a couple years ago and just put the system in, which works really well, but I have a problem with the bags. I use them so much that I keep them, and sometimes I just have to go through and get rid of some of them, and it looks like I need to do that again. The last thing on this week's list is to clean out the junk drawer. I don't have a junk drawer, but I have this seating area that has storage underneath, and that is where I keep all of our junk stuff. So I've got to clean that out yet, but today's only beginning morning Friday, so I've got all day today to get this little bit done to round out my week two. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. And remember, dream big and follow that dream. Bye.